back to my channel, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all okay. Today we're doing another interview video, which hopefully is very useful for you guys. Today we are going to be talking about King's College London, who's MMI so in 2019. Whenever you're watching this, you can probably do the maths and figure out when, how long ago that was. So hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Um, I got an offer from King's College uh, quite early on in January, I believe it was, which was super helpful because it meant I had time to do research in terms of choosing which university I wanted to go to and I obviously chose Imperial College as you can see but I am going to do a video about King's College anyway in the uh, interview experience which was actually pretty good um, but it's a little bit different to others which I thought might be helpful to let you guys know of and yeah without any sort of wait let's get into it. Expect a hospital-centred interview. King's College London is centred and partnered with a few hospitals. They essentially have quite a hospital-centred interview to the extent that they actually invite, you know, hospital staff to the interview. So they might invite nurses, um, consultants, junior doctors, and for my interview, I had quite a few healthcare staff uh, in my MMI that weren't actually teaching at King's College, but they were invited to do the MMI. And they also a lot of our hospitals because King's College is quite a hospital um, and practical based university. You know, you do a lot of hospital work there. And that's a great thing to do because you know, it's where you're gonna be working and you wanna have a lot of early experience. So I would definitely say to know exactly how hospital run, know what an MDT is because that comes up a lot in King's College interviews because it's obviously healthcare stuff and that's one of the biggest things. So know what a multidisciplinary team meeting is if you don't do some research. So if you want some information in terms of how to talk about an MDT interview, go and click on my video Video, which I'll leave here somewhere and um, where I spoke about MDTs and how to bring them up in interview. King's College interview do have a data centered question, they have a data station. I did a video about this, so if you want to find out more about that, go and click on the video again, click on the screen, or it'll be in the description somewhere down below. What I'm talking about is they will give a data or graph sheet and they'll ask you a few questions about it. You know, something like uh, what does this graph show? Uh, what kind of medication will you give a patient who is afflicted by this condition? Something like that. And it's quite tricky actually, and the person running the station for me was quite strict, which is fair enough, it's an interview, but um, just be wary of it because sometimes it's quite tricky and you might get caught off guard. Now for me it was my second or third station so I had to make sure that my mental state wasn't affected by the station because it was quite difficult. What I would say is firstly do a few data questions, quite a few, especially through the line graphs and patient levels of glucose in the blood or insulin, um, patient levels of uh, hemoglobin or glycosylated hemoglobin, patient levels of oxygen, things like that and try and really do well on those stations by doing practice. Learn key terms. King's College interview had a station for me which is all about a particular key term but it's something like you know what responsibility. They'll ask you for example about what is responsibility and why is it important in medicine or they might ask you something to do with for example empathy and why is empathy important in medicine. So learn the definitions of these key terms because they do ask you, they like asking the definition of keyword and then bringing that into it. So all those keywords like empathy, responsibility, trust, learn the definitions and why they're important in medicine because if they ask you that it's an easy station to do it's a really easy station to do if you haven't learned those keywords and what they mean how they're applied in medicine it's unfortunately a station you're not going to do very well in so really memorize those things and use them in uh, applying with your work experience and volunteering and yeah that's all there is for that one The final thing I'd say is just like Imperial and just like any other sort of London University, it's going to be very hospital centred and like tip number one, they're probably going to ask you a lot about jobs and professions that you may not have heard of before that you should be doing research on. Things like occupational therapy, safeguarding, you need to know about all these NHS processes. So what's the process for someone who comes in who's under 18 for example and you fear is, so let's say you're talking about an adult who you think is being mistreated, what would you do in this scenario? So it's called adult safeguarding. Now, in that scenario, you need to know the process for adult safeguarding in the NHS, what you'd usually do, who you would refer them to, who would take care of them, what would they do, and also what would happen if it was a child, so the child safeguarding process. What happens there? How would you help that individual? How would you help the child? What, who do you refer them to? Which services would you refer them to? 
and etc etc all of these processes not just safeguarding but have a look on nhs england for all the processes in terms of what to do when you're worried about a patient when you think a patient needs to be seen by a psychologist what do you do in that scenario they expect you to know these things because king's college is highly hospital integrated so they'll expect you to know a lot about what happens in a hospital in the nhs so yeah that's all i say really um that's everything for the king's college interview hopefully it was helpful for you guys and if you've got any questions just drop them in the comments below please do like and subscribe we are nearly at 100 so it would be so helpful for me if you guys could just go and subscribe getting close to that mark and i'll be able to release my revision video which is which is our 100 subscribers special yeah if you've got any questions like i said drop them in the comments below my instagram will be down below in the description so feel free to hit me up or follow me as well for any new information uh, that you want to know about or particularly finding it when i'm releasing new videos and yeah best of luck to see you guys if you analyze where you're going um and yeah see you in the next video peace